okay as you can see we'll be using this diagram to solve for problem 2.1 and 2.2 for problem 2.1 we know that p is 75 newton and q is around 25 newton we'll be using cartesian plane to resolve all of these forces and always follow the direction of the force so drawing our force cartesian plane we know it's in this angle for our p which is 75 newton sorry 75 newton right so the angle between p to this to this plane or to this line is 20 degrees so we put that 20 degrees then we draw the second cartesian for our q so respect always the direction by which it is traveling so this is our q which is 125 newton and the distance from this wall from this wall to this is 35 so 35 degree i don't mind writing oh sorry 35 degree so remember we have this to be 90 on the normal day so we have to do 90 minus 35 which is 55 so we know this angle to be 55 degrees so total here is 90 55 so that's 55 plus 35 is 90 so on this other angle since we know this place is 20 right it looks like a z where this angle is equals to this angle okay, so if this place is 20 this is also 20 so 90 minus 20 we have this to be 70 so you draw out your resultants our resultants are so this is the diagram you'll be using to solve then you come to apply r square is equals to p square plus q square minus 2pq dot cos r So our r square is unknown and our p square is 75 newton 75 newton plus q square which is 125 square minus 2 open bracket 75 75 times 125 so the reason why i so the reason why I wrote, I chose I wrote cos r is because I want you to understand that it's the angle from here to here. So seventy plus fifty five is hundred and twenty. So we have dot cos dot not dot cos hundred and twenty five degree. So we have r equals to root or the answer we get to be the. Okay, since we know our hair, now we have to find the angle. Yes, we'll be applying the sine rule. Okay, take note please. This is cosine rule. So we'll be applying sine rule. Sorry. Sine. R over R because we have our R and sine R equals to sine. So let's call this place alpha sine alpha over what is opposite alpha is our Q which is 125. So substituting the value of R, we know our R to be 178. Point eight nine point eight nine then 
I will sign her. You sign hundred and twenty-five degree. Do I have to write this again? So sign one two five over this. So then you cross multiply. Our equation becomes sine alpha is equal to sine one two five times one two five. This is five. One two five over. So one two five times one two five over. One seven eight point eight nine. We have our answer to be alpha is equals to sine inverse of zero point five seven two three. So Alpha is equal to thirty-four point nine one six seven degrees. So we know now that the total of this place is thirty-four. No, sorry. The total of this angle is thirty-four point D. So we have to go forward by saying alpha minus twenty which is equal to 14.9167 degree so this angle to be 14.91 so to find the rest of this angle we know this is 90 so we say 90 minus 14.9167 five. 75.0833 so this angle 75.0833